Okay, I just fell down a hole. A hole of books. We Didn't even notice that hole there. Give me that. What's that thing over there? Here's a riddle. When is a croquet mallet like a billy club? I'll tell you. Whenever you want it to be. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this thing does. Oh. Can't tell. Is this electrical or. I don't know. It's the uh, secondary. Oh, nice. That could be useful. That could most certainly be useful. And doesn't look like swinging this uh, takes up any of the blue bar, which is awesome. Okay, that was kind of glitchy. Wow. Gleaming Tower of Cloxa. Got like an eyeball. How's it making the tick noise if that's not flicking back and forth? I guess the tick noise is the entire clock moving back and forth. That's very odd. Right. Door opening and shutting up there. What do we got down here? Nothing. That's not opening. Hey you. Where you been? These are some interesting pictures. There's a bit more to do than you suggested, don't you think? No need for sarcasm. I admit my memory's not what it was. I'm here now. Try to amend its deficiencies. The library contains a recipe for the potion. Consult the book of bizarre things. Oh no! Run! Well, it's definitely sounding more like Gout's Mansion with the cracking up insane people. Let's see how this thing works. Okay, so it takes one more hit than the knife does, but it's a little bit faster. That laugh totally sounds like the same laugh that they had going on in the, uh... in Gout's Mansion. Interesting. When we saw the cutscene earlier, there was a little blimp flying around his head. I wonder if we were seen into his mind to see uh, what he's trying to swat at. Very interesting. This is a neat picture. I like how it's kind of like cut out up there, so you can see through it. But I suppose if your wall behind it doesn't look that great, then this picture wouldn't be so awesome anymore. Hmm. Interesting. Anything behind these pictures? No. Well, uh, see you crazy people later. There's another mouth on the wall. I'm beginning to think that that, uh, that face was an intentional earlier. That was kind of glitchy. What was that about? Yeah, look at that. It's just not there. Until I turn a little bit more. Oh, it's still not there. That is totally a glitch. That should not be happening. Interesting. I'm finding lots of glitches. What the hell? Alright, so he opened a secret door somewhere. Some books were around it. I will have to open that whenever I find it. 
This is really feeling like Gout's Mansion with the uh, fact that there's the books around. Uh, have one of these. Oh, only two of those, huh? I I wish I could bend over like he just did. That was crazy. He's got it bad. Oh, hi. Bring it on. Knocked me off my feet there. Oh, there's a stronger one, so let's keep you away. Wow. So just attack you directly anyway. Whatever. Nothing. Stay down. Is this? Uh, okay. Is that what I'm looking for? Can I get that down? Like that. How about this? Nope. Not happening. Alright then. Sounds like someone's trying to shoot at me. Oh, there they are. Right there. Can I hit him? I don't think so. What we got going over here? Books. Lots and lots of books. Hmm. Whoa, watch out. And now you look glitched. Ow! Jerk. I get up there. I, think I came in from over here, yeah. There's no stairs. Oh, okay, that works. Never mind. Steps to enlightenment brighten the way, but the steps are steep. Take them one at a time. interesting. He knocked that over, and both of them are knocked over now. I could use this. A little health. Uh-oh. Hi there. Dang it. And down you go. Is this that book again? Other books still up there? Can't tell. Oh yeah, it is. Weird. I guess that's not the book I'm looking for. Get the hell out of here. Stop it. Jerk. Trying to kill me. on that side. Guess I have to go back this way to get over there. Dumbass. Didn't even turn around to fight me. Down with the cards. that queen of hearts. It's like the magic mirror from uh, 
Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. At least it reminds me of it anyway. Another one of those, huh? Oh, is that what I'm looking for over there? This must be stepping stones, or stepping books, I suppose. Hi there. I guess you can kind of sneak. Wow, that looks like quite a fall. I wonder if that would hurt me. Probably would. Hmm. Get over to the other side without having to go down. guys are, like, not turning around to notice me. Observatory, huh? Well, I guess I'm not going in there. Hmm. Maybe there's an identical door on the other side. Have to check that out. I love the music in this game. It's great. It's this an elevator or something? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Those are neat stars. They look like a child painted them on there. This definitely has to be like her mind. Okay, you're kind of uh, taking advantage of me here. With that. Oh, jerk. I'm trying to look at the stars. Alright. Well. Guess we have the ability to get across here now. Doesn't look like I can go over to this side by any stretch of the means. Hmm. Alright then. I better just quick save just in case. Can I, uh... Can I get my footprints on this next one? No. I cannot do the footprint leap. Okay, wait. There we go. I guess my footprints were on it even though I couldn't see them. It's because I've got the, uh, the croquet out. Let's try this with this knife instead. Right there? Okay, it's not working. I would like it to work, but it just does not want to. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to do this on my own skill. This is gonna be bad news. Oh god. Now this is the kind of platforming I am not good at. Watch out. Can I can I do the last one? No. Alright. Perfect. So is this the uh is this the book I'm looking for? There's no lock, but it won't open. It's stuck. Treated like a Chinese box or a stubborn lid. A tap in the right spot might do the trick. Hmm. Puzzle box? Am I supposed to tap something or um, well, that's not what I would have done, but okay. You call that a tap? Fortunate I didn't suggest force. You might have pulverized it. <laughs> wow. All right, then. Oh, the book's moved. They're like stepping stones to get down now. I mean, they're going to be easier to hop onto as well, or are they still going to be a pain in the ass? It'll be easier. All right, let's hop down here. It's probably a little too far, so let's go down here first. Hello, book. Mushrooms, poppies, sugar, and spice. All those things are very nice. When combined, the proper mixture makes a getting small elixir. Hmm. 
I don't really like sweets. <laughs> I do. I love sweets. Sweets are amazing. School's out, huh? Alright. Where the hell am I? How did I get here? Okay. Oh great. One of those flying guys. Let's see. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit him with a knife. Nope. Oh, that was a miss. Ow! Okay, Mal, let go! That doesn't work too well. Oh, there we go. Having a hard time aiming at him there, but it worked out in the end. You know what this music is starting to remind me of is uh, the first level in Painkiller. They had this really creepy music in Painkiller on the first level. People were like screaming, and there was drilling of probably someone's head. It was, it was some nasty stuff. Come on, card. Get over here. Ooh. It went splat. Oh, like a knife throw and then a croquet swat. Works out pretty well. Got we going over here. Well, this looks dangerous. Hmm. Got like a little heart over here. Let's see here. Better save in case I fall off. Actually, does it even really matter? Because it probably will respawn me here, right? Okay, that killed me. That's bad game design. If some falls will kill you and some don't. Alright, well... I guess I gotta be careful. Ah, the diabolical dice. A word of caution, don't throw them when you're alone. The fiends lack loyalty and their notion of nourishment is quite disturbing. Great. That's what I didn't need. Ow! What are you doing? Ah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alright then. 